good day. On November the 9th, Coffers Laboratories confirmed the presence of a Zika virus in one of our member states. This is the first time that the virus has been confirmed in one of the CARICOM uh, member countries. This is a virus that causes a self-limiting illness, a bit like dengue, with fever and headache and rash, muscle aches and pains. So this now adds to dengue and chikungunya in the region. Most people recover completely and there are no recorded deaths from this disease. Neither is there any vaccine. Treatment would be painkillers and measures to reduce fever. The most important way to prevent the spread of Zika virus, as with chikungunya and dengue, is to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes and to prevent mosquitoes from breeding in and around the house, which involves re clearing up containers of water that might breed them. Now, Zika virus has been detected uh, in Brazil and it was expected that it was just a matter of time before it arrived into the Caribbean community. This is so because we have abundant travel in and out of the region and we also expect that it's going to spread because the basic conditions have not changed. Mosquitoes breeding in and around houses and we have a susceptible population. This is a virus like chikungunya that the population has not met before. So there's widespread susceptibility or lack of resistance and we expect it to spread. In order to try some new ways of educating people and getting folks engaged in managing their environment, COFA will shortly be launching a new electronic game for use on cell phones called Zapakito, in which you score points for clearing up the breeding sites in and around the house. So again, this is not a severe illness. Um, but we do expect it to spread. COFA stands ready to assist member states and to confirm the presence of the virus if they suspect that they have cases uh, in their country.